Hello Community Family Church and all those who are watching on social media. We have in our previous devotions of two weddings about who we are in Christ. One that is dear and good, two that is free to speak. And I will today say, you are not free to speak, not only free to speak, but also to be welcomed by God, by God the Father, as Sien in mede erf van al. Romeine 8 vers 14 tot 17 in die NIV lees as volg. For, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. The Spirit you receive does not make you slaves, so that you live in fear again. So ons is vry gekoop as slawe, maar nie net vry gekoop om vry te wees nie. Maar dit bring ons in die Positie dat ons aangeneem kan word dier God as sy kinders. The spirit you receive brought about your adoption to sonship and by him we cry, Abba Father. The spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are indeed God's children. So ons is nie meer slawe nie. Ons is vry gekoop, vry gespreek en ons kan in die positie Dear God, aangeneem word as sy kind. If, if indeed we share in his suffering in order that we may also share in his glory. Nie een interessantheid wat ek nie voorin heel te mal so raak gesien het nie, is dat wanneer mens, ek kan een erfgenaam wees, maar ek kan eers jou erfdeel in positie neem, as die een wat vir jou laat erf, sterf. Ek kan eers erf as iemand anders dood gegaan het. So, Christus Jesus het mens geword, hy het vir ons sonde betaal, wat ons nie kon vervul volgens die wet nie, so dat ons vry gesprek kan word, so dat ons die recht kon hee om as kind aangeneem te word. Maar ons kan ook ons erfdeel in positie neem, in besit neem, omdat hy dood gegaan het, het hy vir ons die recht gegeen, om ook een erfgenaam te wees, en ons erfdeel in plek te kan neem. Hebreus 9 vers 15 tot 17, in die NIV sê, For this reason Christ is the mediator of a new covenant, that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, now that he has died as a ransom to set him free from the sins committed under the first covenant, sonde wat ons volgens die wet gepleeg het, en ons kon nie die wet as mens self volhou nie, in the case of a will, it is necessary to prove the death of the one who made it, because a will is in force only when somebody has died, it never takes effect while the one who made it is still living. En is nie wonderlik om te weet, dat ons is nie net mede erfgename vir het dag of een dag in die toekomst nie, maar ons is nou mede erfgename. Ons kan ons erf portie in besit neem, omdat God een die prijs klaar betaal het, en twee, omdat hy gesterf het, so dat ons die erfdeel kan kry. Thank you, Lord, that you pay the price so that I could be set free, that I'm not longer a slave, but that I could also be adopted and be your child. So I am a child of God. Not only am I a child, but I am also part of your inheritance, and I can take possession of that because you have died not only to set me free, but to allow me to enter into your glory. Thank you, Heere, that you saw with me can be weg, elke dag, that I deel can be is, from who he is, and that can reflect here. Thank you that I can have a name, is. thank you that I can kind is. in Jesus' name. Amen. In a wonderful week, and we will be able to kerk op social media, en wanneer die eredienste weer beskikbaar is, volgens die COVID-pandemie-reels.
dat ons bijwoon waar ons kan, die gemeenschap van die gelovig is. Amen. Dear Father God, Today I surrender my life to you. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for my sin and for raising him back to life so that I can spend eternity with you. I am now your child. You are now my Father and your Holy Spirit now lives in me. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. I love you. Amen.